Oh, yeah. I'm not a Disney adult. This is Charlie's. I want no part of this. Ew. What? Oh. I just wanted to get a nice shot of me and the dog, and instead he's decided that my beard is the tastiest thing that's ever existed. And now you're licking my elbow. Are you? Great. Well, I'm so glad. I'm so blessed to have this experience right now. Where are we going, Charlie? Model shop. Model shop. Why? I'm building a dollhouse, kind of. Because you're building a dollhouse, kind of. It's important to have hobbies. Why does this bit of London look like New York City? New York City. So many little trees. Little flowers. Scrungle tungus. What's the guy? Come on, you silly bitch. I can say that. It's not sexist. She's a female dog. There we go. Yeah, this is good. Are we wearing a uniform today? Is yeah, that I what think this we is? are. Is this the Turbo Punch uniform? There's got to be a joke in here. Think about the black and white nature of man. No. Uh... <laughs> Don't adjust your TV sets. This is indeed black and white. Oh, God. That is, that is dated. Oh, 28,000 views. Goodbye. Oh. Brutal. I released the January episode of last month a couple hours ago and I got a couple comments that I didn't understand that was like the audio is broken but it wasn't it was fine and then I went about my day and I checked Twitter like an hour later and I had loads of tweets from people saying the audio is radically out of sync and it turned out that like anyone watching it on a smart TV or a console was getting audio that was like 15 seconds out of sync due to basically just a glitch and I tried to fix it and then it broke it for all devices so I've had to delete the video and that's like taken all like the 30,000 views it had and like the 500 comments and they're all gone now and even if I upload a new version those views are just gone and so the video might just do really badly because it just won't have those views oh oh it's so Oh, nothing like a little bit of groveling. <laughs> what have you made, babe? Uh, I made my mum's secret recipe chicken bao buns. <gasps> wow. Well... Yeah, it's a family recipe passed down by generations. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't use HelloFresh <laughs> unless they were paying me. So until then... Aren't they, like, notoriously a bad company? Shut up. <laughs> so... If you've ever wondered where every single prop and costume from the past 12 years of Tomscar videos lives, I'd like you to meet the shed. Oh, it is worse than I remember. Yes. Yes. Perfect. That's what I want. Time to die. Lazy guns. Right, I'm off to see a girl about a gun. A few moments later. What do you mean she's not even going to use them? Uh, what could have been? Because fun must be organized, we are planning our Disney World trip. Uh, apparently we have to specify and reserve which park we want to go to on which day, which is a COVID measure which may not even be in place by the time we go. But we got to do it anyway, so we have to plan every little morsel of fun we're going to do. I just want to go to Denny's. Just take me to Denny's. You can't come, Squidge! I'm getting the Grand Slam, which not you! What the hell is a Grand Slam, which? That's everything that comes with the Grand Slam put into a sandwich instead. That sounds really nasty! My Grand Slam, which. We're not sure which Disney World photo we want to recreate more, either this one of me being terrified by Minnie Mouse, or this one of Charlie next to an absolutely soaking wet Rafiki. I feel like they're not even there anymore, because this thing's a nightmare. Eddie? No, Tom. Eddie, tell me not to spend a hundred... Oh, 410 pounds. Eddie, tell me not to spend 410 no. pounds on this gold gun. Walk away. Eddie, please. Sadges. Just... What was that? <laughs> So if it's true, and YouTube just isn't really going to let us get away with suicide or really any sort of imitable violence, you know, shooting, stabbing. If I'm ever going to make an Astro movie again, it's going to have to not rely on my favourite things, which is, you know, murder and suicide. So at least I finally found a way to make this series a challenge again. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Party paddles on me. Party paddles on me. <laughs> Eddie wants a good Aston movie joke. Uh, quick. There's a dog. Okay, what does he say? No, no, there's a dog. N okay. Cut to static. Oh. So there's a lady, and she's like, I want a baby. And then there's a man, and he's like, yes, I'd also like the baby. 
and then the waiter is like, very good choice. You know? <laughs> and the joke is they're ordering a fucking baby to eat. Someone's like, oh no, the suspense is killing me. Yeah. And then suspense turns out to be a bear. <laughs> <laughs> this is labelled like a fucking political cartoon. <laughs> yeah, man. Why not? <laughs> God's dead, who cares? <laughs> so for the longest time, uh, my understanding of trauma was that it was a word reserved for, say, victims of assault or people who have sustained long-term abusive relationships with, you know, parents or spouses or whatever. Um, not something that really applied beyond that. And it wasn't until I was watching a TikTok where this woman was like, no, it's, it's, it's not just that. Basically, trauma is any sort of sustained, potentially extreme mental stress. Uh, mental trauma, at least. I was like, oh, hang on. So then I, I started doing some research and I watched a few more videos and I read a few things and I started crying because I was like, oh, oh, I'm so riddled with trauma. Oh God, that's the word, I guess, for what has been going on up here. And uh, yeah, so now I'm in therapy to talk about a lot of things. Uh, we we kind of jump around a lot, but you know, the main focus was to talk about, say, the events of March 2012 to, say, March 2016, and also uh, everything that happened after that and is still happening uh, to this day, and just how I can process that and, and, and make peace with that. Because, yeah, I didn't do well. I mean, we know this. Uh, you know, my mental health absolutely went down the toilet from 2013 to 2019. I was in a big, bad hole. But I'm working on that now, and I'm trying to talk through that. And I don't know how much just talking through it is helping. I kind of would like answers, um, but that's a different type of more expensive therapy that I'm not quite ready for yet. So I'm, I'm sticking to the talking stuff for now. It's good to get it out there, I guess. And I don't want to talk too much about it. To hear it feels kind of counterproductive, especially when a lot of what I'm talking about is this, is our little relationship and our dynamic and, and, and the pros and cons that have come from that. But I just let you know, I'm doing a little better. I'm taking better care of myself. And I'm sure I'll talk about that more as the year goes on. <laughs> oh, mate, I fucking love that show. Oh, a little fella. Oh, no, where's his little button? What if he says a slur? I wonder he's reduced <laughs> to clear, to be honest. This is good. I had it a minute ago. I like it. I like I like what he says. Oh, oh. oh go home, Tom. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, so pretty. I don't know if you can hear, but this entire luggage section is ticking. Seems suspicious. All right. I'm ready for Disney. That's nice. That's nice. What's this for? <laughs> no, that's that's my favorite key. Yeah, okay, I think we're going to be more that's on the really 2p, the 10p machines. More on the 10p's. That's yeah. how you yeah. get better prizes. <sighs> we're heading to Brighton. Hey, Charlie, did you decide to come to a seaside town in winter without a coat? How's that going for you? I'm really good. Yeah, it's really good, is it? Yeah. That was a smart decision, was it? Mmm. Mm. Would you like some chips with your salt? Goblin behavior. Goblin these chips. <laughs> I love that everyone is evenly spaced apart in little groups of two. Can we go sit next to someone? Go on. The great thing about cheesy chips and curry sauce is that you never have to wonder why you're fat. This is actually the first time I've been back here since I killed last month in as much as... I oh, hello pigeon. Do you mind? This is the first time I've been here since I essentially killed last month for a second time. I was gonna do it again in 2020. When January started, one of the first things we did was came to Brighton, having had a nice day. And then after a few days, I was like, actually, I don't, I'm not in the mood yet to film last month. I'm not in the right headspace. And so I abandoned it. But then the pandemic hit and I wasn't able to film that year's Tom Scar's Day Out because I wasn't seeing any friends or really going out. So I was really lucky to have that footage from our trip to Brighton to kind of cobble together a sort of mini minute and a half Tom Scar's Day Out. And now I just don't even have any friends. I made friends. I don't know what it is about me that they like so much, but, uh, <laughs> Did you find some shiny stones? I found some treasure. Wow. <laughs> Do you reckon a pirate lost that? Yeah. Thank you. Let's go. Look at that go. She's in her element. Um, this isn't stopping. I want to leave, but the counter won't stop going up. Stop. I think I will collect bank. Oh. You can't have the big Mike Wazowski. Your hubris is unmatched. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> fuck, man. Oh, that's just crushing. Stop doing it. Okay, we'll settle for the little Mike Wazowski. Yo, oh. Uh. That's Come good. Come on, little that's Mikey. Good. Come on, little Mikey. That's good. Come on. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> Present. Thank you. <laughs> I provide. And I also got this sick Lilo and Stitch mug and a lollipop. Who is Leroy? <laughs> Who the fuck is Leroy? Leroy! Destroy him! Well, gosh darn, ain't that pretty? Oh, oh shit. D has that quenched a need? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? yeah. We threw away, I probably like 50, 50 pounds. On some key rings. I'm not meant to think about it like that. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah but I am thinking about it like crisis. that. I am thinking about it actually. I hope it was worth it for your mental health. It was. Must be nice. We're doing the photo booth. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. And that one's so good. Yeah, we were definitely not ready for that first one, were we? <laughs> All I ever want. I don't ask for much. Just to destroy a droid. Yo, that's actually a pretty cool pick, but it'd be well cooler if it was like all the video game characters in it. There's something sweet, but also really sad about this collection of well-loved and now unowned bears. Sorry, no, I take it back. That is a nightmare. Oh my God. Big cheers. <sighs> that was majestic, actually. I'm glad I filmed all of that. Hello. I've stolen Tom's camera. Today, he's not feeling very well. Usually the best thing to cheer him up uh, is a Bailey's hot chocolate. So I'm gonna take you through making one of those. To start us, we need a mug, but we need a good mug. Good for that boy. It's a mug that I bought for Tom when we first started dating. We have the hot chocolate, and I'm very generous with my scoops. It does say to do that on the tin, but every time I do it in front of someone, they are very shocked and appalled. So, prepare yourself. Wow. I wish we had some marshmallows, but say la vie. Voila. Right, let's go take this one. Hello. Mmm. <laughs> this will go really well with the cold and flu medicine uh, that I've already taken. On top of the ADHD meds I've also taken. I'm gonna fucking die. Whose birthday is it? Literally not yours. It's the birthday girl. Pinky, you're five years old today. We got you when I started last month originally. Cake for Pinky. Oh, she's gone. She oh, doesn't like surprises. <laughs> this is rock solid. I can't cut this. It's going to snap. <laughs> All right. That is sure. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I fucking love cake. You are fine now, there you go. Happy birthday to you. You're killing him. Oh, maybe I should do it on the floor. She's fine. I have known many dogs in my life. Pink has been the most challenging, but we love her. She is a very sweet and docile dog, but she's also a big coward who loves to scream and she has destroyed most of my flaws. Wow, why do you sound like you've got a gun held to you? Because you're holding a gun. Mm. <laughs> I, I will say only nice things. She's my baby. Good job. Good job. Squidge, it is her birthday. <laughs> what the fuck? That's new. It sounded like a cat. <laughs> oh god, I feel like shit. <coughs> oh, I love, I love things. Oh, I love being alive. Uh, I'm sick. I had the flu. I think on I got it on Christmas Eve, which gave me a cough that the doctor said might last me seven weeks. Seven weeks was a couple days ago, and now I have this. <laughs> so, um, super good, but I got new shutters, and now Pink can never bark at a pedestrian again, and that is great, that can be great for my mental health and ears, because it's very annoying, it's very annoying when she does that. I could record another take of this where I'm not, uh, falling apart, but that wouldn't be the authentic experience, would it? Well, <laughs> welcome to my life! <laughs> Yummy! Ooh. I got the piss pill. It's making piss. Uh, oh my god, I love vitamins. <laughs> I have slept for about three hours. I was up all night coughing my guts out. <coughs> 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 
feeling very sorry for myself. And the only solace I can find is knowing that Elliot is the other side of the planet right now, having a much better time than I am. Isn't that right, Elliot? New Zealand has declared a national emergency after Cyclone Gabrielle flooded the country's North Island. Guacamole, 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 guacamole. Oh, we got the romantic nachos. We got the romantic guac and pico de gallo and refried beans and secret cheese. Uh, there's so much nachos. I'm sorry. You should be. I'm not. Uh, hi guys, welcome to my Valentine's Day mukbang. <laughs> so much in the same way that Charlie and I were both ill on our anniversary, uh, we are both ill on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so instead of going out to a restaurant and having a nice time like planned, we're having Valentine's nachos. Uh, this is the most nachos I've ever seen. Can you give them contact? You bought me a big bowl I and you... I felt the urge to fill it. Wow. I mean, I'd hope so. But yes, yeah, for a big bowl, <laughs> so it's just crisps and cheese, isn't it? It's just, it's just hot crisps and cheese. And, <laughs> and it's delicious. It is, but I'm dying. You don't have to eat all of it. I it's do! Challenge. Jesus Christ. Yo! Yo! Oh. oh my god! <laughs> and don't stop. I keep singing. Okay, they are saying penis. So I'm spending all of today, an actual real life work day, watching and researching Barney, the purple dinosaur, because I'm not a serious person and my job is made up. Charlie grew up a big Barney fan and last year she made me watch Barney's Great Adventure, which I believe is sort of the Thomas and the Magic Railroad of the Barney universe. It's a bit of a dark horse. Yeah, it, it left me with questions. I got a bang a tweet out of it, 6,000 retweets, but I haven't been able to get Barney out of my mind since watching that and I, I need to be free. So I, I think I'm gonna have to make a video about Barney. I don't want to become a channel that just makes videos about children's media, but he's in my head and I have to get him out. I have to be free of Barney. Squidge, you're five years old. Uh, you're, you're Barney's core demographic. How do you feel about him? I fucking hate him so much. No, he only loves me because I give him treats. I don't have any for you right now, come on. So I am at a nearby field, the same one we filmed Big Fat Monster in, to go for a dog walk with Squidge, the dog, and Rick, the godson. He's now hitting an age, he's five, where I'm not sure if we should be putting him in front of camera as much because we don't quite yet know the full effects of, you know, keeping a kid's life so very online, I don't want him to get bullied or people develop a parasocial relationship with a child. So uh, if we blur his face in this video, we'll crop him out or just start doing that in the near future. That's why, because we don't want to screw him up, and have him wind up like, well, like me, really. Yeah, I'm glad I took the treats out of the bag because they are all gone. He's <laughs> <coughs> very cute. Squidge, kill. <laughs> Squidge is extremely food motivated, so we've put all the treats on Rick, and now he loves him. Well, that's how we hope Rick feels about it. Come on, let's go forward. Not you, Squidge. Well, you as well. There we go. I, d I don't really know how to talk to kids. Do you just say wow at things a lot, I think? <laughs> wow! Um, is, is that right? I, I don't know. Nine, 10, 11, ready or not, I'm going to get you. He he he, ho ho ho. Where could they be? Where could they be? Are they over there? Are they over there? Where could Squidge and Rick be? Where is Rick? I'll never know. Maybe I'll check around the other way. Here we go. Ow, the nettles, they hurt me so d dearly. Where? There he is. Why are we sat at the front of the bus, Charlie? Because I like it. Because you like it. You like being in the most conspicuous, everyone's gonna think we're an asshole spot. I'm not an asshole, I just want to see the view. Yeah, but I'm the one in everyone's way. What do you have, Charlie? I've got a wawa. So this is the chihuahua you so desperately want? Wow. Also, that's really cool. It's gone moldy. No. 
<laughs> Yo, Matrix clock? Oh, dude. You going, you going for the Juicy Couture? Yeah, I know what year is it, but even so. Juicy Curl. Oh my god, Disneyland practice. I love queues. Generic airport footage, but we're not even in an airport. That's the vlog experience. So during the early days of the very first lockdown, a group of my friends started the group chat to remotely watch the Twilight movies as a bit of a joke and chat about them. By the end of the lockdowns, I think we'd watched the entire series about three times over. So when I was at one of my first cons after the lockdowns had finished and I saw Peter Fascinelli standing opposite me, I couldn't avoid getting his autograph, which he wrote to the Twihards. That was our name. Thanks for being on Team Cullen. And I want to say, why do any of you queue to meet people? It was the most awkward experience of my life. I never want to do that again. Why do you even meet me? It was so uncomfortable. Yes, Charlie. We're also not Team Cullen. Well... We're not Team any of them. We're Team Charlie. At the very we are point. Team Charlie, yeah. Obviously, we're Team Charlie. Oh my god, it's pancake day. I'm gonna get Last of Us. That's a reference you will only get if you've seen Last of Us. Let's get pancakey. Oh, that's goofy, dude. That's a goofy dude. Pancake dance, a pancake dance. Charlie's having a pancake dance, which doesn't get any. Just a little bum. <laughs> it's pancake day. Yes, it's pancake day. Because it's pa 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 pancake day. Pancakes! What is this? Why? What is? What is pancake day? Why are we doing this? It's uh, religious. Religious? No! Elliot, put t put a put a put a, a, a Jesus cross over me. Sugar. And a little bit of lemon. Have you seen my lemons? You guys remember that? <laughs> so about five years ago, I got something in my P.O. box, which very briefly confused the hell out of me. This canvas painting of me as God. Yeah. Uh, which turns out was commissioned by Ben Cook for some Becoming YouTube merch some 10 years ago. And it's a real genuine painting from an Italian artist called Gabrielle, I believe. And I'm gonna get it framed because I think that'll be funny. On my encouragement also. Yeah, but <laughs> I just, I don't know what else to do with it, but it's just funny. Maybe I'll give it to my mum as a gift. Oh my God, she'd love that. She probably would, wouldn't she? What's behind <laughs> that box? It's frames, Charlie. Whoa. I'm an adult, so this is what's exciting to me now. But Tom, you have so many. Well, what if we had more, Charlie? What if we had, <laughs> if we had more? <laughs> we have been collecting art in our house for years, like it's a very common gift. A good gift. six years? It's a very common gift that we'll give each other, but we never bothered to frame anything and actually put it up. Uh, so I'm biting the bullet and I've spent 800 pounds uh, this week on buying frames for every single art piece that is not got. This is the most bourgeois problem imaginable, I know. Bourgeois? Bourgeois. Bougie. Yes. But it will hopefully make, make the house a lot nicer. Show oh, me. this one is show me, show me. just gold. It's empty, Charlie. It's pretty. There's no art in it. Well, should we put some bits Peace. in and then we can show the, yeah. the camera very nice. This one's going to be for you. Wow. Wow. Is that a Charlie Bell original? Yeah. Oh my God. Charlie, there's nipples. Oh. Oh. Scandalous. A couple of Christmases back, Charlie got me the pencil art for one of the actual pages from uh, The Boys comic, which you may know that I like a lot. Uh, and this is one of the pages by Ross Braun. And it's very exciting. It's real, it's got, it's got the terror, Queen Maeve and Billy Butcher. I'm gonna put it on a wall and then look at it sometimes until I become desensitized to it and any joy I receive from it is slowly stripped from my very being. All right, we got a firefight piece. We got this monster fucker piece by Charlie. Got a little horizon thing. Red Dead. You know I gotta get my Star Wars concept art droidicas. A little Owl House piece that really stresses me the fuck out because the piece is on a slant that makes the whole thing look like it's on a slant. It's, 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 it's aligned perfectly. <laughs> and lastly, we have this massive one, uh, but we don't like the color of the mountain, so I gotta change that before this is done. I'm not tipping them in. They're Tip them in, you them. coward. This what? Nerds. What? We can lift the lid up. Just pick up the box. Pick it up. So I'm visiting my friend Max this weekend. He has been in my life a very long time. He first showed up in Tom Scar's Day Out 2. So that's how long I've gone without completely screwing this friendship up. <laughs> He's requested that I don't film much this weekend. He, he, he doesn't really want to be on camera and I respect that. So sorry, you don't get to see us drink 
uh, eat and play video games. Really exciting stuff. But I'm also going to go visit my dad today who just had hip replacement surgery. He went in uh, for the surgery, which was supposed to take a couple hours. And then a couple hours later, I'm messaging my mom like, all good. And then three hours later, I'm messaging my mom like, all good. Four hours later, five hours later. And yeah, the, the surgery just took a really long time and it was pretty scary, actually, not knowing what was going on. But it turns out that it just took a really long time because he's got so much muscle in his leg. Uh, so that's going to be a thing that he brags about for the rest of his life. His hip replacement surgery took a really long time because he's just too swole. Let's see how he's doing. <laughs> Ooh, a snack. Look at his little oh, toes. Super his dressing is quite funny. That is quite funny. I like the toilet seat as well. Ugh. That hospital room was familiar and I did not like it. That doesn't feel safe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, when you put it like that. Yeah, think about it. Think about, it. Think, about it. think about it this way. Shut up. All right, I guess that's... Oh, Eddie! This is a good system. Yeah. It looks really good. I yeah. so. All right, boys, we're in a good, clean fight. Nothing but all the belt. So we've agreed to make 12 more videos for Surfshark VPN, one a month pretty much for this year. And it is the penultimate day of the month and I have no idea if we're gonna be able to get an ad out. We've sent a few scripts over uh, and we've had the usual sort of like, oh, you can do this, but you can't do that. But the last version we sent over, we just, we don't, we, it hasn't been approved yet. And it's now got to the point where even if they gave a sign off, we wouldn't be able to make it in time. So we've gone ahead and shot a completely unapproved ad anyway, just so we can get started on it, because otherwise it's just not coming out. And if they give us any feedback beyond, it's perfect, no notes, we're doomed, we're screwed. Uh, so here's hoping everything works out fine. The video that is going on is of an episode of content that we filmed in December of last year. It was very unpleasant to film. <laughs> I fucking love YouTube. I wonder what this girl looks like when she's fucking murdering people. Oh my God. Oh, good. <laughs> this is this is a lot. That was fun. All of our parents were married and had children by our ages. Hold on. Just wait a second. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I hadn't thought of it like that. Yo, it's them boys. <laughs> <laughs> Got his ass. It's crisp. Here you go. Have a crisp. Have this little crisp. It's just a crisp. If I put this down, you'll eat it. Why are you not taking it out of my hand? Final sneak, sneak attack. It's crisp. The crisp. The crisp. <laughs> eat, eat it. <laughs> He liked it. <sighs> Coming at you live from my stairs. So that was February, an admittedly fairly uneventful month. But to be fair, it's 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 pretty common for me to lose the first three months of every year anyway to the general malaise of uh, of a new year and winter. I'll be honest. I filmed a couple rants this month that I'm probably not going to include in this video because they're just not the energy I'm trying to bring anymore. If I feel strongly about something, I'd rather sit down, think about it, write something and, and get it out there. Saying things in the heat at the moment has not served me well in the past. And like I said, it's not the energy I really want to bring. Let's do March. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make some things in March. I will, I will make some things in March. You can hold me to that. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you last month. Is that a thing I say? I don't know. Tom Scott, out. I just punched myself in the face. <laughs> oh, how do I... How do I... I could stop recording, but can I... Can I... I did it! Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. money. Hey, you. Thank you for the money. Hey, you. Thank you for... Thank you, patrons. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.